All right, so we're doing back pieces again today. I just had a lot of work done on my back, so um, I'm kind of in the mood for back tattoos. Uh, some of you will know I had a fairly lengthy, beefy session on my own back. I'm not in the mood for back tattoos. <laughs> yeah, you. I've been putting lotion on yours, and I hate it. Yeah, that's uh, that's a nice thing for me, is I've got someone, uh, I've got an indentured servant that uh, has been applying <laughs> lotion to my he back. He wakes me up at like <laughs> five in the morning and goes, Sarah, will you put the lotion on? And I'm no, like, it's, it's not even will you, it's it's time to put the lotion <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> and then I grumble and grump and uh, do it Yeah, anyways. but my back is still itchy, so. Sometimes I rub it for him. Mm, yeah. yeah anyways let's not be weird for a second here <laughs> um so this one says uh it's from sasha and sasha says hello this is my first ever tattoo oh, uh, i wanted it since school time 10 years ago finally did it just wanted to ask who you like ig guys who you like ig guys right back Tattoo Eagle in all caps. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, we'll rate your back tattoo Eagle. Uh, I I kind of hate it. I got to tell you, like, I kind of hate this thing. Yeah, this is a really awkward looking Eagle. <laughs> his, his wings don't look like they're attached to the body. It's certainly not the worst back piece. And it's not even the worst done or anything like that. It's just, like, it's such a strange thing to do on a back. Yeah. This was a chest tattoo. You know what I mean? So uh, on that little meter thing, I'm going all the way to the bottom. I'm not at the bottom, but I'm certainly not in the middle. Yeah, and, the, uh, the anatomy of this thing is just so strange, though. He's fucking cranky looking. He's cranky. Yeah. This fucker this needs a nap or something. Eagle. Look at the fucking eyes on him. They're red. I like that it looks kind of evil, but it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like evil like, you know like nefarious kind of villainous it, it just looks snarly like it needs a nap it looks to me like, like oscar the grouch or something cut up a bunch of eagle pieces and put them together really awkwardly yeah and so this has almost no transitioning from light to dark it's just here i am pitch black and then negative space and, and there's like some weird gray in the middle i like i don't know gray. what the scratching weird gray. like weird lines in the back are i don't, I don't know what these things are. What is that? Movement? Wingy? Movement? Scratchies? I don't think they hit the mark for that at all. I don't all. even know. Webbies? Like, I don't know. We so, flapping, flapping motion. Context would be nice. If you can put some background to this, some to like pop it out or, or show me direction. Because right now the wings, they don't look like they're... I know that they're rearing back, but there's absolutely no depth. There's absolutely no dimension to indicate that. I don't know how you know that they're rearing back because they look like they're on backwards. Yeah, well, they do. But, like, I, I know that they're supposed to be going back. Mm. Like, for this bird to be in this position, they have to be lifting. This isn't a real position. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I've <laughs> this seen that. A real bird. I've seen that position done where it makes sense. Yes, but that, that made no sense. I'm swiping. We're going away. It's horrible yeah it's drawing. three out of ten for me i don't love the, the whole concept i think could have been cool but i don't like the placement on the back and i'm not a big fan of the design so yeah no um okay next one back piece finished from jeffrey uh i'm sending this the day you featured the outline and background yeah, progress. nice i'm making fucking progress now <laughs> and my back was in in fact done by the time you got it laugh out loud i did say it probably would be i'm i'm fairly sure uh, <laughs> love the show more to come all right oh yeah i remember seeing this guy oh uh, i think i remember this yeah uh so i like the face and i like the background to some degree i like the yellow beams lightning the bolts. robe is just it's so hard to follow it just got too busy i think that's like kind of the you know it's not so much the robe that's too busy the robe is actually really cool like that it's, pattern is really smart i think the robe needed some thicker lines inside maybe yeah no i i can see that it's a robe like from the outline but the inside of it is not 
like it's it's not standing out enough it gets kind of like yeah. backgrounded it's it's strange it's strange to look at because i feel like the robe is both for sure in the foreground but it looks tonally like it's part of the background yeah i know it's it, it, the robe is actually really tricky i love the face uh i love the face of this dragon um oh yeah the dragon's fucking awesome the dragon is like really great the um, foot is a little weird yeah well yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> and i think the sword should probably be bigger uh, yeah and it, the sword is uh it, or in dagger. our photo crooked but then it's not in the other photo is it I can know, I you, really you know like overall i fucking love this tattoo yeah you do too like i love the size of this thing I and like the color the scope is enormous and like the colors are great everything color like all the colors do contrast really nicely mm -hmm. but i just i feel like if you were to go into that robe and do something to bring out the inside structure more i think it's probably some harder blacks or some dark blues in places like some actual shading in the in the uh, folds yeah it's maybe? just it's his head looks like it's about 10 feet in front of his stomach and his chest like his hand is coming forward his head is coming forward but the robe looks like it's almost like way back here and he's his head is like out here like it doesn't look like his head is attached to that robe it doesn't look attached i do think maybe some shading um in the robe like some black shading uh to to create depth in those folds might help and uh, uh but i also think that the pants are suffering from something really similar oh um, they yeah the, the pants so less the, the pants are really hard to place they, they need some harder outlines mm -hmm. but uh this is super cool though oh uh, yeah just yeah no like, this like really well this cool. is what you do with good work yeah you don't get into the nitty-gritty with something that's terrible yeah yeah you don't need to um big props on going inside the bum cheek it's not pleasant in there most oh, yeah. people don't do it so good on you for that i know the pain that this guy was through and uh i think that this is a pretty close to pretty close to like a nine out of ten back piece <clears throat> i just think that uh, there are some things to do in the, the clothing if you're willing to do that extra work and now and even if you take a long break but um you can you can enhance this thing just a bit still so yeah that'd really, be my thing really really love the dragon i really love all the little details like this is so cool yeah there's a lot of love that went into this piece and then we have this one with no disclaimer and uh Nothing. i i do kind of love this tattoo um do you? yeah i think i like this one just a little bit more than the last one the only thing is is uh there's no outlines anywhere mm -hmm. and that's stylistic like that's uh, that was obviously their intent but i do feel like uh there's you, outlines there, there, you can't see any outlines they're oh. all shaded off of okay i see they're, what you're like saying. The, the outline and the, and the and the shading weights are basically the same or the depth so like um when you ghost line something you'll never see the line kind of thing because okay. you just shade off of it so like if you had have done a crisp outline on say the edge of the ears um and around the fur building off of the eyes there on either side i feel like that would have pulled the wolves out a little bit more yeah the wolves are definitely uh uh pushed they, back they a lot did for me. something like what i'm saying because they shaded the darkest point like at the edge of the fur mm -hmm. right so they did they did have a mind for that but they just should have done a sharp outline in just those places i feel like and then it would have lifted the whole thing a little bit more i really love um the like the wind bars in this one and i i hate i hate wind yeah bars. wind bars are quite oftentimes just useless noise in my opinion yeah, just, i usually absolutely hate wind bars so i think these ones look great wind bars are used like intentionally to create flow and a lot of times like i think people get carried away with them these ones are good these ones are good because they they go with the flow of the piece and they make me feel like these leaves are actually blowing and that these wolves are actually snarling and fighting yeah um like i i love i love all the leaves um i like that it's asymmetrical yeah well i think the asymmetrical part of it makes it look more organic yes 
Only like in this case, it works. Because yes. originally I was kind of miffed about it. No, I really like the asymmetricalness this, of it. It seems like something you would greater, you'd have a greater chance of encountering in nature. And this is again probably why there are no hard lines because it's more, it's not color realistic, but it's it's semi color realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's a, a little more illustrative. Yeah, it, it is. It's illustrative color realism. Yeah. Right. Like sure. it's, there's some things that are embellished here, obviously, for effect. But like the amount of work that went into this cannot be understated either. Same as yeah. the last one where it's like this was a lot to do this. Yeah, this is like an absolutely beautiful back piece. Like I, I would wear this. Well, I, I love all the bright colors. I oh, love yeah. the, it's a little too bright for me. Like I think it's this whole thing, if you had it done with darker wolves, I probably would have liked it more. Like Instead more of, of like, like the white gray wolves. Yeah, it's, a, it, like a but that's wolf just, or that's like a stylistic uh, preference, right? Like these, this is uh, just overall too tonally bright for my taste, mm -hmm. but the, the, full color nature of it makes it an instant uh, classic for me and probably one of my favorite back pieces we've had on here yeah I think in all so honesty too. and to take nothing away from the last one because that was really nice too mm -hmm. i just think that this thing is in a different league um and i just wish it was darker personally <laughs> that's the only thing that i would ask for <laughs> yeah i probably go with the darker in some places but it's sure. fucking killer though yeah beautiful yeah.